This is an interesting question that tests our understanding of the order of operations. The order of operations being please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The first thing that we need to tackle in the order of operations is parentheses. In this case, we would need to do address the 2 plus 1. Rewriting our, our expression after we do that, we get 6 divided by 2, parentheses 3. So one way to look at this problem is that we're going to continue now with the MD of PEMDAS, where we would do multiplication and division left to right. If we were to do it that way, we would get 6 divided by 2 times 3. The division would come first, and we would get 3 times 3, which would give us 9. So what would happen if we addressed the parentheses differently? If we address the parentheses differently and use the distributive property, which should apply to all real numbers, we would first distribute in the 2 to both the 2 and the 1. In this case, we would get 6 divided by 4 plus 2. Following the order of operations here, again, we would do the division first, and 6 divided by 4 is 1.5, plus 2 gives us 3.5. But wait a minute, these are not equivalent answers. So why aren't we getting the equivalent answers? And that is because of how we describe and define a term. A term is a collection of numbers and or variables that are being multiplied together. So let's take a look at this from a different perspective. Let's look at this as 6 divided by 2 times 3 plus 1, sorry, 2 plus 1, and do so by thinking of this as an entire term. Let us suppose then, let's assume that x equals 2 plus 1. If x equals 2 plus 1, we could rewrite this as 6 over 2x. If we were to do that, that implies that the multiplication has to happen first because the 2x is a term in and of itself. If we were to do that, we would get, we could simplify this to 3 over x, and if we substitute back in the 2 plus 1 is our x, we get 3 over 2 plus 1, which is 1. So again, yet another answer. So the question here is why does it work so that we get all three of these answers and which one is right? Well, let's go back to that distributive property again. If I want that distributive property to work, I can go 6 divided by 2 times 2 plus 1, assuming that the parentheses here are not just indicating multiplication as an operation, but indicating that this is an entire term of, with this collection of numbers in and of itself. So then let's look at the distributive property here. If we were to distribute this again, we would get 6 divided by 4 plus 2. Here, we would have to do this entire denominator first, giving us 6 divided by 6, which is, again, that interesting number we got, 1. So the distributive property only holds if we go back to this original problem and define all of 2 times 2 plus 1 as a term, which means that we have to address that entire group of numbers before we can divide. So why does that actually relate to PEMDAS? Is because the parentheses are not just indicating that the 2 plus 1 has to happen first. It's also not just indicating that we need to do multiplication. It's indicating that this entire group of numbers here is a term.